Hey friends, today I wanted to come and speak with you about feelings. There is so much going on that it's really like a, a moving target, right? Um, one day we're up and we're feeling great and the next day we're down and we don't even know why. And so this morning I'd like to talk to you about grief and about feeling our feelings. And unfortunately I am really familiar with grief and I think the more experience that we have with grief, the more we learn each and every time. And so today I just want to hit on some brief bullets that actually help you get through this grief and cope with your feelings and um, be able to move through them and not deny them and not not feel them or push them under the rug but i think if we can name it then it helps us to manage it and some of the things that we can do um, is really acknowledge it acceptance is a way to be able to move on but just like grief um, we may be experiencing denial like some people it hasn't come close to home and so they're saying well you know this is a hoax or this is a joke but that all ends, that denial, when it comes close to home and you have a friend of a friend who lost a parent or a friend of a friend who lost a spouse, someone that you know lost someone in their 20s or 30s, and then all of a sudden it becomes real. Or you know someone that was diagnosed with it, but has conquered it and is now feeling better. There's all these kind of different emotions and feelings that we have, right? But it's important to acknowledge the grief and acknowledge the feelings that we're having and then give them meaning. And once we can give them meaning, then we can embrace them and begin to acknowledge and accept them. But denial is one of the first things that happens. And then, you know, we all know that the world has changed. We all know that we will never ever go back to where we were before. And it's kind of like 9-11, where when it happened, we were all so taken aback and broken and, you know, grabbed for our loved ones and mourned as a country and connected with everyone. Um, and we knew that things would never go back the way that they were before, like going to the airport has never been the same. You know, going outside, connecting, the way that we shop, the world is changing and it won't ever go back to what was before. The, the, the loss of normalcy is gone and every day we're in this creating a new normal for ourselves, right? And um, it's hitting us and, and, and we're grieving what we can do to cope with our feelings and continue to move on. And one of the stages of grief that people are experiencing is what's referred to in psychology as anticipatory grief. It's like, so you may be thinking, oh my gosh, I'm so concerned about my parents, what's gonna to happen to them? Or you might have someone in the medical field that's out there working and you're concerned about them contracting the virus because it's so contagious. And so our sense of safety is broken. And, and then we have the sense of anxiety and know that I am doing, that you are doing everything you can um, regarding social distancing, washing your hands, um, being very proactive about the groceries that you bring home, and you know, staying in your home and doing what is being asked of us so that we can get through this and feel a responsibility, right? Um, but acceptance is accepting your feelings, accepting that this is sad, accepting that yes, we've lost any normalcy of the past and life is going to look different, but acceptance really is where the power lies. And so having grief is really important and embracing those feelings. Like there's a generation that has been raised up that said, you know, well, gee, my grief, there's no room for it because other people are losing their lives, they're losing their jobs, they're losing this and that, and who am I to be able to feel sad about my life? And you know, I'm so grateful for the things that I have, but I wanna share with you, love, that you are entitled to feel your feelings, and not only entitled, but you're encouraged to, because you deserve to own your emotions, and emotions is 
energy in motion and we need to release those emotions and feel them and that's the only way that we can release them is by feeling them and when we feel them and maybe we have a good cry or we have a great conversation with someone else then we are releasing them and that allows us to feel our feelings so that we can heal because feeling our feelings is healing. We cannot heal without feeling. So knowing that your emotions are real, feel those feelings, and then, as I mentioned earlier, come into the present moment. And, and it's really important to acknowledge that because what's going on for you is something different that's going on for someone else. And you may find that emotions are, are high and that People are triggered easier or that their their moods and their um, their response to things aren't what's normal for them know that what's going on in their minds and their hearts is um, not anything that we know about but let's be compassionate and hold them in that space and know that they are just experiencing and realizing something that is flowing through them and going through them right now I am grateful that I am alive that I'm able to be able to be here as an encourager and in someone who inspires you and to give you hope remember i have that acronym of hope h is for happiness we still can own our happiness we can still be happy o is for the opportunity that unfolds in front of you during these changing and uncertain times p is for purpose finding a purpose in all of this and what's going on and finding a purpose in your life and maybe you're struggling right now to find that. And E is about extraordinary. You have a choice to be ordinary or extraordinary. And I want you to know that you are bold, that you are brilliant, you are amazing, and you are extraordinary. Step into your potential. Maximize what's there here for you um, today. And Take this opportunity to radically shift your health. And if you want any help along those lines, you know where to find me. I'm Shelly Marenka. I'm in a company called Inspired Living with Shelly Marenka. And I'm here to help you power up your potential, radically shift your health, and love yourself more. And I do this in a number of ways. But it all begins with our thoughts. It all begins with our mental fitness. And it all begins with what we choose to believe that can be real for us today. So God bless you all. Continue to sign in and stay tuned for my series of coping, hoping, and growing in uncertain times. Hit your notification button so you are aware when I go live and I will see you on the inside. Much love to all of you. And feel free to share this with those that you love.